I made the decision to come to the University of Houston in 1976. After one uh, intro to architecture course, I was disgusted with architecture and I walked myself over to the College of Engineering and I asked them if they would take me in mechanical engineering. They said they'd be happy to do that. I think that I squeezed every opportunity out of the University of Houston. Trying to do that while working 30 hours a week at Brown and Root over on the Ship Channel and trying to manage getting out of college in four years, which was my commitment, it was a 24-hour-a-day uh, existence. Without coming to the University of Houston, I would have never met my wife. We have four children. Uh, three of which went to the University of Houston, two of which graduated from the University of Houston. I graduated in 1980 with my BSME. I had started a part-time job at Brown & Root, a major engineering construction company. Matter of fact, the number one engineering construction company in the world at that time. And I worked for that company for uh, 27 years, retiring in 2004, after which I, uh, I jumped out into the industry and worked for a small company, Alliance Wood Group Engineering as a COO of that company. I was called by AMEC, a, a British firm, to ask if I would serve as a president of one of their companies. I, I did that for four years. Uh, then I was called by Siemens, the German company, and asked if I would run a, uh, a two and a half billion euro business for them uh, as the CEO, uh, which I did for a couple of years. And uh, then I was called and I was asked to go uh, serve as the executive vice president at uh, a company called SNC Lavalin, an engineering construction company based in uh, Montreal. When my sons were, uh, in particular, were interested in education and we were exploring a number of things, uh, I came back to the University of Houston. Um, I came back uh, really with the help of uh, Dr. Matthew Franchek. I served as on his advisory board for a period of time, ultimately going to the engineering leadership board and serving as the chairman of the Engineering Leadership Board. I'm very proud to be a professional engineer in the state of Texas. I'm very proud to have completed my education at the University of Houston. I'm very proud uh, in walking around the pit in, in Building One and looking at all the photos of the distinguished engineering alumni to think that my picture will be in that group. I'm extremely proud. I'm extremely proud to be in that group, to be proud to, to have been selected amongst many strong candidates and graduates at this uh, Cullen College of Engineering. And uh, I just would never do anything different.